Boy, it looks a little gray and cloudy out there today, doesn't it? Uh, that looks yeah. like one of our Quincy intersections. That's uh, uh, what, Broadway. Maybe, Broadway. Yeah, 36th yeah. and Broadway, probably. It was the film a little bit earlier, and uh, you know what the, the weather view cam they're showing. Cloudy skies and rain actually started to fall again. As you can see, the roads are a little damp there, but rain's been periodically falling across the tri-states this afternoon. Some folks seen a whole lot of rain, and we're going to see a whole lot more come through this weekend. So it's going to be oh one of those weekends that you might need to read a good book and sort of just uh, stay indoors because we're going to have ourselves a wet one out there. Right now, the radar is lit up with a lot of colors here indicating pockets of rain, heavier in some spots than others, and uh, generally over Quincy West towards Ewing, down towards Rensselaer and Palmyra and all the way out towards, say, Philadelphia, Missouri, probably seeing some rain right now. And uh, we're going to, fortunately, not see any severe weather, but we're going to see good soaking rains pinwheel through the region over the next 48 hours. And then more rain chances will continue on into next week. Right now, you can see the waves of rain coming down out of the northwest, sweeping down southeastward across Quincy and Hannibal and Keokuk. You're all looking at rain. If you're in the tri-states and can hear me talking right now, you have a good chance of rain this weekend. We have more rain building up near Kirksville, back down into Shelby County and Knox Counties, Missouri. And this is all going to be sliding east-southeast towards Quincy and Hannibal and Monroe City and Keokuk over the next few hours. So it's going to be a wet evening out there. And this is the beginning of a very wet weather pattern. As a matter of fact, several chances of rain on through the next seven days. Good soaking rains. Could see as much as two to three, maybe up to four inches of rain in some locations by the time it finishes out the weekend. But we are expecting the humidity to be increasing as well. That's something else you're going to feel and notice as we head into next week, especially temperatures warming up and that humidity being on the rise as well. So right now we have a partly cloudy sky out at the airport, 72 degrees. The winds, they're southeast and uh, very light right now, near five miles an hour. The rain chances, once again, the big story, but also the temperatures, they're very comfortable. Due to all the clouds and all the rain-cooled air, as the rain falls, it brings down cooler air from the middle parts of the atmosphere. Temperatures really went nowhere today. 69 degrees right now in Macomb at 75 over in Jacksonville, 73 in Hannibal, with some 72s from Fort Madison south here to Quincy. Across much of the Midwest, there you go. Where we have the clouds and we have the rain, temperatures holding in the 70s, where it's been somewhat sunny or at least not raining. Temperatures in the 80s from Wichita back through Springfield over to the southeast of us here in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. So we're going to watch this shelf of rain continue to work its way east across the tri-states tonight. No severe weather, maybe some lightning and thunder, otherwise just clouds and periods of rain. Some of it could be heavy at times. We have this frontal boundary, this red and blue line indicating a stationary frontal boundary that'll just sort of meander back and forth across central and northern Missouri as we go through tonight into tomorrow. Low pressure builds in from the Kansas City area back into the tri-states as we head into tomorrow evening. Continue our chances for showers and thunderstorms, keeping things very unsettled, and it will be rather muggy as well. A lot of moisture for these systems to work with. 68 for a low tonight here in Quincy. Tomorrow we'll take temperatures in the 70s to the north, where we might see a better chance of 80s would be Quincy south and east as we head through tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise, tonight, thunderstorms likely, heavy rain, a good bet too. Southeast winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Temperatures fall into the 60s tonight, tomorrow into the 70s and 80s. Once again, 82 degrees for a high in Quincy with more soaking rain expected tomorrow afternoon. Now, as we head on through the seven-day period, you can see each day, just about every day on the seven-day forecast has a chance of rain in it. We're going to have that old-fashioned summertime weather pattern going with humidity, with uh, weather systems moving across the tri-states, all bringing a little bit of an opportunity for some lift to develop some showers and thunderstorms. Currently, I'm not looking at any severe weather outbreaks with any of these systems that come through, but nonetheless, it's going to feel a whole lot more like summer, and we're going to see that afternoon sort of, you know, muggy feel and the sun and clouds, and you get those afternoon thunderstorms going and so forth. So it's going to be a wet weather pattern for the next week or so. Humid is one of my least favorite words in the weather vocabulary. I will try and come up with something new for the 10 o'clock show. <laughs> all right? It won't be much better, that. though. Okay. Yeah, it all yeah, means the same. Hopefully a little bit. <laughs> Turn it over to sports.